burning tyres and debris strewn on the street. The narrative for the protests uh, go by service delivery, although a suspected motive is cause uh, that we're seeing for the resignation of the Northwest Premier Supra Mahumapelo. We're now joined uh, by uh, Selwane uh, Gekau, who's in Mahikeng, to give us the latest. Uh, Selwane, just, just tell us what you're seeing right now. <laughs> Um, yes, indeed, we're coming live to you. Uh, at this case, as you can see right now, really, it's not as busy as it was in the morning and in the afternoon. Um, it's relatively quiet right now. People have gone home. Well, some people have gone home. But really, in most areas where we saw these violent protests in the afternoon, right now, it's relatively quiet. Um, what we know at this point is that nine people were arrested yesterday for public violence. And today, as far as we know uh, an update from the police is that no arrests have been made today in Natasha. Just, uh, just tell us what you've seen. How violent is, is violent? We're hearing of shops being looted, of uh, owners going to seek refuge, of, of people really fearing for their safety, including journalists. What, what have you seen earlier? Well, Natasha, um, I didn't get that question. Um, I'm not sure if it was even directed to me, but what we saw earlier is that really it was uh, difficult for us in some parts of uh, uh, um, the areas that were, we, we had these protests. Um, our safety really, we kind of felt like it was a bit not so good because in some areas we felt like we were not welcomed as the media um, stones were thrown at us some um, threats were made of course if you are going to take pictures for television of people looting and taking groceries that do not belong to them of course they will not be too keen to be taking uh, the pictures to go on television uh, but despite all the challenges that we saw today um, we did manage to find a way to tell these stories <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Salwane Kakao uh, from Mahikeng in the northwest. Now, police are investigating two cases of murder.